Hello everybody, welcome to another MSI review and this time it will be the RGM 79 ground type GM sniper color Okay, pretty much this is a deluxe edition It comes with a a jet core booster It's like the core fighter, but it's more mass pro um, produced. Little cockpit here. Pretty tiny, small, but cool. It's a uh, number four. It and it's nicely detailed. You can see um, the the warning label sign right here. Federation in insignia and detailed um, boosters. Okay, this, uh, aka the nickname GM Sniper. Green color, only seen in 8th uh, MS team. Uh, last two episodes. It comes with its um, signature um, sniper beam rifle. A green shield, 04. Beam rifle, light grayish color type. Still nicely detailed. Green beam saber and green machine gun with cool gimmick ammo clip. That was a pretty cool gimmick for the um, the ground type gun since you have ammo clips right here you can put in. When they run out of ammo, they can just change the um, ammo clip. This was later used by um, the ammo clip idea was later used in Zeta Gundam. If you, um, if you notice the um, beam ammo clip for the MK2. Okay, our, um, let's see these thing the color for the GMs all green. Cool. Uh, I got turquoise color and eyes. Some gray. Actually, mostly gray joints. Red boosters. Very detailed. Federation insignia. Detailed vents right here. And detailed mouth. Mouthpiece or something. Okay, uh, articulation. Head can rotate full rotation. So can arms. Arms are in a ball joint and then a single joint. We can go that far forward, that far backward. Torso has a little swivel. Leg can go that far forward and that far backwards. Thighs are a ball joint, single joint on the leg. And a small swivel in the feet, ball jointed. If you notice right here, they have little fake hydraulics that's pretty cool they added that and that is all for articulation for the gun though. oh and the jetpack thruster see a little swivel to it you can also take it off if you want it would have been cool if they actually um, made this little right side or left side of the leg and just pop out where they can Pull out the um, the beam hilt, like in the show. That would be nice. But that's the GM sniper. You can either attach the shield from left or right hand with little holes right here and the little peg. Beam rifle. Machine gun, what beam saber and now beam rifle, the standard beam rifle for the ground GMs and ground gunners.
And now the beam rod. Articulation, um, the handle can move. Oh, I think this is an ammo clip you can take it off. And it's all a little red dot side right there in the middle. The whole time I thought that you had to put the GM gun like this. But instead there's this is this whole thing is his handle. Pull like that. The handle for this thing is really annoying. It doesn't really want to go on that well. Okay, there's your uh, GM ready to fire. They could have added some more things for this gun, on, like um. Uh, the the um, coolant unit right here, the coolant unit that was attached to the beam rifle, so you can fire longer range. Uh, a better handle grip for the beam rifle. And that is pretty much what I guess, pretty much that's all what I wanted for the uh, GM to have. But other than that, this is a pretty good, decent figure. It's stable, it's nice, and it's a long lasting. It's just a remove of um, the standard ground GM. All weapons from the ground GM is compatible to this guy, including the ground gun. But seriously, when they paint it, it's all green. It actually, it actually fits right. The green's not too overpowering to the Gundam. You can actually see some details on it. Well, okay, then that's the end of the review, guys. Um, if you are a Gundam fan, I do suggest you pick up the green, um, the G GM Sniper. Although it's quite rare, but it's worth it for a collector's item. If you can't find this kind, find this guy. Cheaper and still the same, but doesn't come with the beam rifle or the core or the jet booster. Um, that GM will be in another review next time. Until then, see you guys.